everyone welcome to the session of uh, selenium learn selenium testing and today i am going to tell you how to use a uh, web driver with visual studio using c sharp uh, right now i'm using a uh, microsoft visual studio express edition that is version 2013 and the best part with 2013 is we have a test uh, tab so you can access your uh, test methods directly you can select a project as a test project so before it's going to start let's download uh, selenium drivers so for that uh, I'll go to the selenium hq.org I'll go to the download tab in the download tab you can scroll down a little bit you'll see the C sharp uh, libraries just go to uh, the latest one you'll get the latest one and you can download this one meanwhile it is being downloaded you can uh, go to the change log and see if something what is new with this one so for example here it says they are talking about uh, Firefox version 29 28 other issues they are talking about whatever the issues they have fixed it they are talking about so let's download it I'll go here and in the folder let's wait for some time I'm going to pause this video I'll start after everything is done okay so now download has been completed I'll come here and extract all in the same location once the extraction is done I am able to see the content of this folder let's wait for a second it should be done in a second now it's extracted I'll go into net 40 folder and those are the files we need so let's go back to the Visual studio we'll go and open a new project in the new project you can come down to Visual C Sharp and test select the unit test project give the name of uh, let's give a um, project for video you can add a source control if you have get or TFS I right now I'm not going to use anything so I'll leave it blank click OK automatically you can see your one test file is here if you go to the solution explorer you can see properties and reference and the file here the file is this now you can see uh, unit testing has been added into that namespace these are the attributes so I'm not going to use any unit here so I can use directly use a test tool given by Visual Studio the test MS test uh, these are the attributes what are the attributes to understand the attribute you can refer my uh, blog about an unit uh, they'll here there I explain about attribute how it works what is the behavior so for now I'm not going to into the detail of what attribute are but I'll just explain while in the training I'll explain what different attributes we can use so let's go to solution, Exp solution explorer here will add reference what reference the one which we have downloaded so let's go to browser okay browse here um, I downloaded this one dot net net 50 so for now uh, I don't need all but for now I'll just add only two let's add everything even though I don't need everything but let's add all the DLL once you add all the DLL there's no harm in adding so all are here so now um, our files are added into that you can access this test explorer to get the test explorer you can go to test windows from there you can get the text explorer uh, I'll show you what is the use of text explorer but first let's talk about the test so now you need to add um, all those workspace using web driver Oops, open QA dot selenium dot since these are 
the number of uh, which browser I'm going to use. Let's try uh, Firefox. Now using OpenQBIS, Selenium, Dart. In case if you want, uh, I'll talk about other things. But for now, just keep it like this. Uh, these are the page object page factory which I explained in one of. I'm going to write another video for that about page object but for now just leave it to the support so we'll write a very basic script so let's see what we can do here is test method let's give a test method of verify mm, verify title let's verify a website um, we'll have another three methods Init set up uh, init to initialize the test we have another test attribute as test initialize and here we can write uh, setup method and then we can write test tear down rename that as cleaner so at the once you complete your test you want to close your browser close your selenium this is what you add here in setup method we will initialize whatever you want to initialize like uh, start browser and open url here you can write Close browser here you can write actual tests and you can write number of methods each time you can verify something for say you want to verify title and then verify header of your blog you can add something you can verify login like verify user or you can write some scenario like uh, to card scenario so you can write a whole step here so at the very beginning test will run so initially test will start open the browser and then you can uh, go to that test perform that action and the very end you can come down and close the browser so for now we'll just consider one test one test method that's all so now we'll start writing the test so before writing a test let's check everything on place okay i forgot one thing to add not forgot but yeah complete open selenium because you are going to test the selenium so you need a selenium commands okay so let's change the name of the class you know test class my test mm, it's not necessary but i'm just you know so let's rename this test to my test to match with the class name okay so we'll write um selenium is there so we'll start so since we are going to use a web driver so we call it as a we'll use a attribute as a driver so we'll use the driver driver so we can access this variable across all this method so just I put on the top of the method in the class itself so now the first if someone asked me to write to start writing a test what would be first I need to start the browser so in that case I'll go and I'll write driver and assign that object into the driver object, the Firefox. So for that new I'll use Firefox. As I said, I have used Firefox. In case if you're using Chrome, so you need to replace with this a Chrome and then you can use Chrome driver. Uh, you can see uh, different overloading, which 
I'll explain later what you can number of profile you can create your own profile have all those plugins added into that I can use that some special capabilities if you want with that browser you can add that if you need to have binary special profile and you have a binary location for Firefox you can add that same thing but we we'll just go with the right now we'll go with the basic one with no special uh, setting okay so the very beginning you create a Firefox driver and you need that object to open a new URL for this one you have to call this navigate and then from navigate you'll call go to URL this method and this method let's call the website www.deal.com once you open the website you are set this is your basic initialization that's why we use the initialize attribute so in the setup method let's recompile once f6 things are fine no issues uh, well, for time being so now I'll go into the title verify title this is my actual test method and I want to verify the title of this page so I'll go uh, define a variable title how can I get the title since the driver object is there so I can access what are the properties on that browser at that point after the setup we can access I can get the title like this and I can I want to verify this one so verify we can use assert uh, is for no, r equal r equal uh, let's compare the title and I can give some title small deal. okay and then in the cleanup I'll just close this driver object driver dot quit again I'll compile let's rebuild the solution solution okay things are fine if I run this Run all things are hold on. I think I should have showed you. Okay, start. Something should be start. Okay, wow. so browser is started. And, uh, okay, so this is website open and closed. And it says red, so it failed. Okay, verify that it is failed and here is the output white field it says verify title test field uh, expected done the deal and actual is done the deal so this is what the actual so let's go to the website and we'll see what happened so if you look up here you can see done the deal d with the capital if I say D and the output actual ah the one thing you should be expect this is a small thing but the order in this are equal is different I use differently incorrectly you can say I should be putting the actual second and expected first so I should replace here this thing and the title. Oops, title, so like that. I'll save it, build this. Now I can come, I can see the test cases here. I can run the selected test. It will run. Started running. Um, <coughs> and now let's wait for Firefox browser to up and uh, yes it's here awesome so closed now it's green so I'll pass if I add more test 
let's add another test here I'll verify title incorrect title and I'll say deal deals done the deals everything just s extra I'll save it build it you can see the two test verify title I'll just say all test to run so the test will run and I start the browser verify the title okay so set up opening the URL verifying the test close the browser again it will start the browser verify the wrong title I mean incorrect title and then close the test if you want to save time and if you want to verify both tests at a time just once you start the test and verify everything like um, set up once tear down once or you can say initialize test initialize once and test clean up once but run the test altogether you can put everything into the other test attribute for that you can refer any uh, block for that that's all I believe that should be enough and if you go here let me show you the results wow so incorrect title is there if I click on that I can see why it is failing and here everything is passed that's all if you have any questions just let me know thank you very much